User-centered design, also abbreviated to UCD, is a collection of processes which focuses on putting the user at the center of the design and development of a product. A product could be a website, mobile app, or online tool in this case. In practice, this means design teams need to truly understand user needs and preferences to create products that meet those needs. The Interaction Design Foundation has a great quote on user-centered design. It reads, user-centered design is an iterative design process in which designers focus on the users and their needs in each phase of the design process. Some of the benefits of applying user-centered design to your project can include reduced product risk, lower support costs, and increased conversion rates and sales, and increased engagement from users. User-centered design is based on a few fundamental principles that can be applied to the design process, starting with understanding the context of use and user needs. This understanding can be gained through user research. Early and frequent involvement of users. Users are involved in the design process from the very beginning. Critical design decisions are evaluated based on how they work for the user. Keep designs simple, consistent and clear. Provide intuitive navigation, following navigation design patterns that are easy for users to understand. Offer assistance and feedback. This is where the product team collects and analyzes feedback from users regularly. This information helps the team to make more user-focused decisions. Use an iterative design process. Speaking of iteration, this brings me nicely onto the user-centered design process. As mentioned earlier, user-centered design is an iterative design process in which designers focus on the users and their needs in each phase of the design process. There are four broad steps in this design process, starting with step one, research. Gather research and develop an understanding through analysis. Step two, design. Ideate solutions from sketches all the way to high fidelity prototypes. Step three, evaluate. Test your prototypes with users to gain feedback. If further work is needed, you can loop back and iterate on your design, returning to test and gain more feedback. You may need to go through a few iterations before you have a design that users respond well to. Then you can implement your design. Make the feature or website live, monitor analytics, and perhaps do further user research, which will take you back to the start of this iterative design process. By using an iterative design process, the product team are constantly working on improving the user experience. It introduces changes gradually, and they gain more understanding about their target audience. User-centered design, as mentioned earlier, is a collection of processes which focus on putting the user at the center of the design and development of a product. User experience refers to the specific experience users have with the product they use. UX is not necessarily user-centered design. UX is a value of user-centered design and you need both to create digital experiences that engage your users and meet their needs. If you're not already, you should definitely be including your users in your design process. Incorporating accessibility into UCD means designers are including the widest range of possible users and situations. User-centered design is a process for designing usable products and user interface accessibility can be approached as a subset of usability. If you're wanting to learn more about accessibility, I have a video introduction to the topic or you can ask more specific questions in the comments. Let me know if you found this introduction to user-centered design helpful. I'll be making more videos on this topic soon. Have a great week and I'll see you in the next video.